From the Carl Chevrolet Studios in West Des Moines, welcome to Iowa Live. I am Lou, and boy, am I excited today. You can see we're standing in the kitchen for a very good reason, because we have a very special guest joining us right now. He is the executive chef at the Machine Shed. John Weiler is here. Great to see you, John. Good to be here. Yeah, I'm wearing my, my Machine Shed colors. That's right. I got a spot for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. When we're done. But the reason that we're here, we want to talk about all the incredible food they have at the Machine Shed shed and how you could uh, you know get some of this food in your home or maybe just go on out to the machine shed when family comes in from out of town because they have a bunch of packages uh, all set to go don't you absolutely uh, anything for your family caterings your, your business gatherings anything for the holidays and uh, we're set to go Right, even uh, in the office parties you might be having Absolutely. in the next month or so, uh, this would be perfect for ordering some stuff from the machine shed. Absolutely, we got you covered. You got Just you covered. Give us a call. Give All us right. A call. Now, when you go out to the machine shed, now we were talking about this earlier. When people come in from out of town, they say, take me to some place uh, in town that is awesome. Machine shed comes to the top of the list. That should be the first thing. Yeah. We are straight Iowa and, and comfort food and farm to table. This is where it starts. Exactly. Now, let's talk about uh, some of the food that we have here before we talk about the packs that you can get sure. and get into your home. We're going to be showing folks how you make one of the most popular dishes there. Absolutely. This is our roasted stuffed pork loin. Um, and I've kind of taken a little liberties and done a little twist on it for the holidays, adding a little bit of cranberry to the stuffing. And, well, by the way, we could use your mom's stuff. All right. That'd be even better. Yeah, yeah. So, just kicking it up. Kicking it up a notch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do we have here? We have a pork so, loin. Uh, roasted pork loin. Uh, so we're going to start with your uh, typical pork loin you're going to get from the grocery store. Um, I like to, I call it flaying it open. So I'm going to cut along the bottom edge here. Okay. <clears throat> and start to slice it open a little bit and unroll it. So, kind of like a, a butterfly. A butterfly, yeah, yeah. absolutely. So I'm going to take one more cut here. Okay. And you open it up so you can have a pocket. Yes, indeed. Okay. And in this wonderful little pocket, we're going to put all our goody little stuffings here. All right, so you so. opened it up really wide. We'll show you that there. Really, really right. wide. Okay, okay, then take some of the stuffing. Take some of the stuffing. Again, this is Lou's mom stuffing, right? <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. Okay. Uh, a typical, just a, a basic stuffing. This is our, our sage stuffing. Which with, is great. Yes, which mm -hmm. is a, a basic sage, um, celery, and onion, real basic stuffing. And then, uh, like I said, my little twist, I am putting just a little bit of cranberries. Now, the cranberries, you can uh, cheat and use the, um, uh, the canned stuff if you wish. But, um, but this is the real deal here, This right? is the real deal okay. here. We have uh, some fresh cranberries, orange and apple, and all kind of crushed together. Awesome. And now we're just going to roll it back together here. All right, so you're going to twist it around. Now, when you cook it, the chances are the, the, uh, the stuffing might expand. It could yes. ooze out unless you do something unless important. You do some tying. Here. Yes. So we're going to just uh, tie it up here. Uh, the, the string. Uh, now, tie? where can people get some of that string? The, the, the butcher's twine is that butcher's, what they call it? Yeah, butcher's twine. So okay. that's, that's generally in your in your grocery stores as well. Um, you'll find it in the uh, readily available. Readily available. Yeah. So, but probably don't want to go, go bathing twine. That probably wouldn't work. So no, well. no, no, and, no. And, and you leave marks too. So. <laughs> <laughs> and probably different colors. So don't use that. So you, you tie it up so it just it keeps everything in one piece. And something like this, uh, when when you cook it, how long do you cook it at the machine shed? So uh, at the machine shed, I've got some really nice, great ovens. So I, I typically cook it for um, uh, at 275 for about an hour and a half. Now in your home ovens, it's going to be a little bit different. They're they're a little bit uh, lighter in, in uh, force or mm -hmm. in heat. So you're probably going to go, I would say, 275, uh, 300, but you're probably going to go a little bit longer. Okay. And still, and what temperature are we trying to cook the meat to? This is pork. <clears throat> this is pork. I'd like to stop at 145. All right, there you go. Don't overcook it. Don't overcook it. Okay. You, you don't want to wear them. Okay. For, for shoe leather, right. so just 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 get it there so the uh, the juices run clear and you'll be good to go. Perfect. So we're gonna pop that in the oven. Pop that in the oven. Do the magic here. So we'll the magic here. We'll leave that here. We'll leave it on here. We'll just pick this up, and we'll do this is the the abracadabra here. Now we're also gonna talk about uh, dinners for fours. They have uh, really cool things. The go pack for four, which uh, has your choice, and uh, talking about what ham, ham, turkey, and. The roast pork lane. We're roast. going to open that up for these folks that uh, happen to watch our show today and right. let you have that today. So. And the, the pack does include, when you slice away, the pack does include what? Potatoes and gravy? Potatoes and gravy, uh, stuffing, uh, a couple different vegetables, green beans, green bean casserole, um, uh, corn, corn casserole, sweet mm -hmm. potatoes. Now that sounds a lot like traditional Thanksgiving, but you know, um, we, uh, 
we can make different choices and different options. And how do people get more information about how to get the meals? Either come on into the, come into the machine shed. By the way, you're wondering when they're open for the holidays uh, through Christmas Eve till two o'clock in the afternoon on Christmas Eve. So make right. plans to go out there, have dinner there, or to get the the uh, go pack for four uh, includes all those things that we just mentioned. Uh, the phone number, uh, John, uh, to get hold of the machine shed is 515-270-6818. That is 515-270-6818. Place your order and look at this. This looks absolutely delicious. And a, a little, of course, a little bit of uh, pan drippings here, pan dripping gravy oh, right on top. This is outstanding. Machineshed.com as well, where you can go and just take a look at all these amazing things. And don't forget the pie. Don't forget the pies, yes. Uh, all made fresh and by hand, mm -hmm. usually by my hand. Well, no, I've got a couple of helpers. So. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, all our pies are made fresh in-house. And scratch. you can also uh, get a copy of the book too, right? Cookbook. And in the cookbook, you'll see this recipe, the original recipe, plus many of our other uh, uh, known recipes, our cinnamon rolls. Nice big cinnamon rolls. The, the, the world uh, famous cinnamon absolutely. rolls, we might and, add too. Yeah, our cheddar casserole. Uh, lots of our, our on menu items are all made in house. All right, that is awesome. And now we know the person behind uh, the makings and nights. Over here in Urbandale, folks, everybody yes. knows where the machine shed is uh, Hickman and I 80, right over by Living History Farm. Absolutely. Perfect. Look forward to seeing everybody. John, thank you so much for being Absolutely. here. You're not My leaving pleasure. with this, you know that, right? Uh, I kind of figured that. <laughs> that's why there's two pies. That's why there's two pies. <laughs> well, that's why there's two. Perfect. Again, machineshed.com, 270-6818 to place your order for the holidays. You know what? Get the food from the machine shed and don't let anybody see the bag you bring in and tell them that you cooked it. Absolutely. You won't tell Lee, John. Absolutely not. All right. I, I promise. We have a game plan.